But coming up next, Kevin O'Neill's at Tabby Town in Blaisdell. And if you need a feline friend for your home, it is just the place to go. It's 552 on Daybreak. Well, did you know there is a local nonprofit that helps find caring homes for stray cats in western New York? It's called Tabby Town. It's at the McKinley Mall, and that's where we find Kevin this morning. Hi, Kev. Tell us the story, Cheryl Ludwig. There's been a store that has cats in the McKinley Mall for a few years, but right. it, sort of, it sort of changed the. Uh, you explain the relationship between Tabby Town and the, and the Ten Lives Club. It sort of evolved. It, it has evolved. We are opened our store with Ten Lives Club as our main rescue partner for okay. the cats, right. and it evolved into Tabby Town so that we could become an independent nonprofit and help other rescue groups as well. And it evolved even further because we had to make room for Old Navy at our old <laughs> store, uh -huh. uh, which is opening soon. And we moved down here to um, this location by Sears. You're a managing and partner we, here. I uh, am. And now the, so you get, you get the cats from where? The cats come from 10 Lives Club, mm -hmm. the SPCA, the city shelter. And we actually do not take surrenders here, but every once in a while a cat will show up that we take care of. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you've, yeah. you've, you've had some, and we don't want this happening, but you've had, you've had some dropped off and uh, taken care well, of. Well, the public, we try to help them right. on what to do and where to go. And one of the reasons that we um, stay an independent nonprofit is so that we can help them and guide them to where they need to mm -hmm. be able to take care of the cats. Who are the women in orange? They are all the wonderful volunteers at Tabby Town. <laughs> they have been with us since day one. And uh, this store was actually, this store is new. It's a year as of this past week. Mm -hmm. Was completely painted, built, scrubbed, hammered by all of the volunteers. What's, what, yeah, and uh, tell me about your, your residence as well. The cats. Uh -huh. We have uh, 40 some, 50 cats in the store, all for adoption. Um, what we do is we cozy them up in condos right. so that they feel comfortable and safe. Um, we spoil them rotten. <laughs> so the whole goal at Tabby Town was to create a place so that the public could come right. and see the cats in a very uplifting, happy setting, mm -hmm. instead of sometimes it's daunting for people to go to a shelter, even though they're protecting the cats. Mm -hmm. So we've created a space that's comfortable, and we make the cats comfortable as well. And it's good for the cats because you're bringing them to where the to where the people are. I mean, you know, you're, you're bringing them to a mall, which is it's good. It's the complete concept of this. We studied this in Utah with the SPCA. Mm -hmm. It's proven successful here, and it's proven successful at the Weldon Galleria. That's what. That's right. It's wonderful with the SPCA mm -hmm. re re representing there. So great. And you're, the hours here are the same as uh, uh, the, the mall. Um, pretty much. We open 11 to 8 every day of the week, noon to 5 on mm -hmm. Sundays. We need a little time to clean up. <laughs> so, let's put, so let's put a plug in here now. What do you need? You need money, volunteers? How, how, how can we help me? Help me help you. <laughs> the number one thing? Yes. Our adoptions. Okay. We need adoptions more than anything, and we have a beautiful cat for anybody interested in looking for a mm -hmm. cat like Who, this guy the, over here. Who's the mayor? This is, this this is the is one. Apollo. Apollo. Maybe you can tell oh, him about Apollo. Uh, uh, actually, we're all out of time. We'll okay. get learn more about Apollo. This is the one cat that is, he, he, he's, he's the mayor here, so he's... He likes to hang out, and he's, he'll be your greeter if you come here to Tabby Town in the McKinley Mall. Wow, I'm surprised they want to leave there. They got it made. It's cute. <laughs> yeah, That's right. good stuff. All right, we'll check back. Thanks, Kevin. All right, Kevin is out at, uh, what's it called? Tabby, Tabby what? Tabby Town. Tabby Town. Tabby Town. I can't get over the video of the plane landing without landing gear. Isn't that just Unbelievable. amazing? Yeah, you can watch it over right Oh, man, I mentioned right after the landing, the pilot was like, oh, that's the button. Oh, <laughs> oh <bingo. laughs> I, can't believe, I can't figure out these planes nowadays. Wow. Go ahead, Tina, do your thing. Here's the Shadrach is uh, ready to go and ready to hop out into your life, into your home. Tabby Town is uh, within the McKinley Mall. Uh, they work closely with uh, other uh, rescue organizations. There we go, this side. Tell my better side. I want to be this side on. There we go. Fantastic. Uh, we're going to uh, talk about uh, this. Uh, uh, well, I guess the the over the purpose of this location. Also, nice uh, nice retail uh, as well. Neat things uh, for the uh, uh, cat lover in, in you or in your life. Uh, plus, we'll have some fun with the animals too. Next half hour on daybreak. Yeah, great place for the cats until they find another home. Good stuff. Providing Thanks, a good service. Thanks, yeah. Kevin. Kevin's out at a place that really is providing a great service for abandoned cats. Hey, good morning, Kevin. Absolutely. You know, I don't get emotional a lot, but this is the kind of story that really, honestly, God, brings tears to my eyes. And um, sure, it's allergies, but the bottom line is the cats have a <laughs> home here at Tabby Town. See, thousands of years ago, Egyptians worshipped cats as gods. Cats have never forgotten this. 
And they still walk around like they own the place, don't they? They do, especially at this time of the morning. <laughs> we give it to them. It's all about them. Absolutely. Cheryl Ludwig, how are you doing? Hi, welcome to Tabby Town. The motivation okay. behind Tabby Town, what is it? Is to increase adoptions in this community. Basically, the motivation was to bring these rescued cats closer to the public mm -hmm. in an uplifting setting so they're comfortable with the adoptions. And sometimes, as I said, shelters can be a little depressing and because everybody feels sad. Here they don't have to come in and feel sad for the adoption. So mm -hmm. they're happy and the cats are happy. McKinley Mall, bright, colorful store by Sears here. And uh, where do you get your cats from? They come from 10 Lives Club Rescue Group, uh, the SPCA City Shelter. Look, we got a member of the crew here. Where yeah, are you doing, hard? It, He's yeah. a cable guy. He's a gaffer. He is a cable guy. Get the grip. We've, yeah. <laughs> we have every type of cat here from every age group. We have a senior cat program. We have um, cats for every ages. And uh, the concept here is to keep them comfortable and relaxed mm -hmm. so that when someone comes in to do an adoption, the cats aren't as stressed. You work with and other agencies too. I, we I, do. Which, which, is, which I like a lot. That's the whole purpose of Tabby Town was mm -hmm. so that we can work with the shelters that work so hard to save these cats. Mm -hmm. So we work hard then to get them adopted. And it's good. We can educate the public on which shelters to work with or mm -hmm. who can help if there's a stray or something like that. So. Yeah, uh, that's the whole purpose and why we're here. You see uh, r retail as well? Uh, you we have uh, some retail. For, for cat lovers. Little by little, we're growing with that, and all the proceeds go to the cats. Everything within the store is to benefit the cats. And, and how, how can people help you now? What do you need? Volunteerism is always important, and of course donations, but adoptions are number one. Mm -hmm. So the more cats we get adopted and get off the streets, the better. And how, these, these, these women working here, how much are they getting paid? A lot. Oh, yeah. Tons. A lot with yeah. heart and reward. Right. and They're volunteering their time. They're volunteering their, they're time, volunteering here, for their time. Countless hours. This store was built by the volunteers. We wouldn't be here. This was an old arcade, mm -hmm. and we wouldn't be here without the volunteers. Nice to go here when it was an arcade. Yeah, too. yeah the kids like uh, it. Is it tabbytown.org? It's tabbytown.org, yes. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you. Thanks for sure, coming. Sure, it's my pleasure. So great. They've uh, about, four, uh, be, um, four, about 50 something, about 50 adoptable cats uh, right here from McKinley Mall, of course, the Hamburg Blazel area. Wow, they look healthy and in good shape, too. They are, as and they, they don't always walk around. They you know, make sure all of them get exercise and pet, and pet oh, every day. That's really sweet. Oh, they get yep, run. And they're getting along, too. It's nice to have them socialized before you bring them home. They get run in the house. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Uh, great idea. Sure. Well, if you have a uh, fondness for felines, here's a place you need to know about. Kevin's out there. Debbie Town uh, is where I am near the Sears at the McKinley Mall. Cats can add a lot to your life. I'd say the, the worst sign, I'm a cat owner. Oh, actually, I'll, I married into a cat, so technically, I'm his step cat. I'm not his biological father. But the worst sound a cat owner can hear, I think we've all been there. <laughs> Two in the morning. <laughs> oh, no, that's our new Oriental rug! <laughs> Uh, so tabbytown.org is uh, the website. Their hours are, uh, they mirror the mall hours as well. So come on by and uh, find a new uh, a friendly feline for your family. Tomorrow, you know, we don't just celebrate Buffalo. We don't just celebrate Erie County. We celebrate all of Western New York. We're heading to Little Valley in Cattaraugus County tomorrow for daybreak. We'll see you then. Great. It's even worse for you that noise in the morning. You don't have a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Do break, day break. We'll see you tomorrow. Where are you going with this? Have a good one. <laughs>